a massive breakthrough in HIV prevention. Last month, the FDA approved a drug called Lenacapavir. Someone more fluent than me will say it again very soon. Also known as yes to go It's a twice-yearly injection that has shown nearly 100% efficacy in preventing HIV infection in clinical trials, and it's being called the closest we've come to an HIV vaccine. CBS News medical contributor Dr. Celine Gounder joins us now with more. She's editor-at-large for public health at KFF Health News. Dr. Gounder, good morning. Say it better than me. How do we pronounce this? <laughs> Uh, so the big breakthrough with Lena Capavir, uh, also known by the brand name Yes to Go, mm -hmm. is convenience and adherence. So until now, people have had to take a daily pill to prevent HIV infection. Now we're talking about two injections a year. So this is an especially big deal for people who've had uh, difficulty accessing preventive medications until now, specifically people of color and women. So around half of uh, new HIV infections among, among women in the United States are among black women. Mm. And at best, 10% of high-risk black women are on preventive medications. So this will make it a lot easier for many more women to be on these meds. I asked sexual health educator Goody Howard what this uh, approval means to women like her. If you are in a relationship where there's a power dynamic and you're not the one in power, and maybe you need this relationship to survive or you need to be in this relationship to make sure you have somewhere to stay or your children have somewhere to stay, et cetera. You know that your partner is, you know, has other partners or what have you, but you need to be in this relationship. You know at least that you are doing what you need to do to maintain your sexual health around HIV. And this trial also includes groups that are often left out of the research, right? And what groups are those and why is that important? Yeah, so this is a really uh, important difference with this particular clinical trial. So most clinical trials will exclude pregnant women, women who are breastfeeding. And as a result, it can take eight to 10 years longer for those women to have access to new medications. And because the researchers were really intentional about including those women in the trials, doing so safely, women who are breastfeeding or pregnant can access this preventive medication right away. A key group for that too. What about pricing uh, and access? So this is a really important point. The list price for Elena Capavir is uh, $28,000. Now, insurance companies don't necessarily pay for that list price, so $28,000 per year. Um, and uh, there are patient assistance programs that can make it available. Uh, so in this case, they're saying you know $0 copay to the patient. But that's still a huge difference from the generic pills, which can cost as little as $400 a year versus $28,000 a year. So that's being covered by the insurance company, but still, you know, inevitably that gets passed down to the consumer. All this is happening, though, with the backdrop of cuts to the CDC's HIV prevention program. How is that going to impact the rollout of this drug? Well, the HIV prevention program at CDC, they would normally be doing uh, provider education, so teaching doctors and other healthcare providers who is a candidate for this medication, how to prescribe it. They would be doing patient outreach and education, HIV testing, because if you're HIV positive, you can't be on a preventive medication. Uh, all kinds of public awareness campaigns and community outreach. But we've seen a billion, with a B, dollars cut from HIV prevention at the mm. CDC, half the workforce. So they're not gonna have the resources as they normally would to push out this kind of new breakthrough. Dr. Gounder, thank you very much. Really important information.